things we don't know. Putting science in your hands. Asking scientists if they believe we've been visited by aliens and if little flying saucers is likely to get you a few funny looks. Yet there are a number of scientists interested in the question, do aliens exist? The key point here is that the two questions are completely different. Many scientists believe there is life elsewhere in the universe. Some even believe it's likely to exist on other places within our solar system, such as on Jupiter's moon Europa. That's not to say they believe in UFOs, this life could be as simple as little bacteria. Scientists have been searching for evidence of intelligent life on other worlds for more than a century, a search known as SETI. The most famous aspect of this search is probably SETI at home, which allows people to download an application onto their home computers to analyse data from the Arecibo radio telescope. This program has been running for more than a decade since 1999 and has attracted more than 5 million participants. They are searching for a radio signal that might be coming from an intelligent species elsewhere in our galaxy, the Milky Way. But is there likely to be another civilization out there for us to detect? The answer to this question is summed up nicely by the famous Drake equation. Don't worry, I'm not about to launch into complex mathematics. This equation describes the number of civilizations in a galaxy which are able to communicate. It has seven terms, which are multiplied together to give us the answer, so all we have to do is work it out. The average rate at which new stars are being created within the galaxy, the percentage of those stars which have planets, the average number of planets capable of supporting life around each star that has planets, the percentage of planets capable of supporting life on which life develops, the chance that life is developing on a planet lead leading to intelligent life, the percentage of civilizations that transmit radio waves into space, the number of years civilizations capable of transmitting continue to do so. The last four are essentially just reasoned guesses. So depending on how generous or mean you want to be with the values, we could be in a galaxy literally teeming with millions of intelligent communicating civilizations are all alone in the universe. The search for life on Mars has been going on for quite some time, but has leaned more towards the search for evidence of past life rather than existing life as we learn more about the conditions of the planet. Robotic missions such as the NASA Curiosity rover, which we had a wonderful guest post about back in August, are busy exploring the surf surface of Mars right now, and one of the things they are tasked with is proving whether or not Mars was ever capable of supporting life. Ten years time, Europe will launch the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE, as part of the ESA's Cosmic Vision 2015-2025 program. After an eight-year journey to the Jupiter system, it will study the moons of the giant planet. Three of those moons, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, are suspected to have giant water oceans, not on the surface but deep down inside. And when there's liquid water, scientists will be looking signs for life. But first we have to find out whether or not those underground oceans exist at all. JUICE will also seek to help answer the questions, what are the conditions for planet formation, and how does the solar system work? Two of the biggest questions in planetary science. Even other stars may be looked at eagerly, as we discover more exoplanets in what is known as the Goldilocks zone. Planets which are too close to the parent star are likely to be too hot to sustain life, while planets which are too far away are probably too cold. But just in the middle is a zone where it is just right, and astrobiologists are looking keenly for planets which fall into this category. But life is a complex thing, and we have found life in all sorts of strange and unexpected places right here on Earth, often places we believe a life was impossible. So how large this habitable zone actually is also remains an open question.